gang, let's take a look at example four. It says find the dimensions of a rectangle given that the perimeter is 110 centimeters and the length is one centimeter more than twice the width. Okay, so with all of that, if I hear, if I hear something like given the dimensions of a rectangle, it's probably a good idea for me to draw it. So I'm gonna just draw a rectangle real quick here. And then I'm gonna to start to get a visual as to what this problem is talking about. Okay, and when it comes to rectangles, there's usually four pieces of information or four aspects of a rectangle that a word problem will talk about. The length of the rectangle, the width of the rectangle, the area, and the perimeter. Which is not to say that all four of those are in every problem. And again, when I say all four, length, width, area, perimeter, um, it's just to say that some of them are in there. And, and we want to start this problem, after I've drawn this picture, with what is the variable, right? What is varying in this problem? What do I know? What do I not know, right? What is constant? What is a variable? So we can put some linear equations to this. So it says find the dimensions, right? I see plural of a rectangle. So when I say dimensions, that means this problem is asking me for the length and the width. So out of those four pieces of the rectangle I just mentioned, length, width, area, and perimeter, it looks like I need to find two of them, the length and the width. And it's actually telling me the perimeter is 110 centimeters. So that's not a variable, that is constant. The perimeter is, right, we see the equal sign. So I know the perimeter is equal to 110 centimeters. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. And it says, and the length is one centimeter more than twice the width. So let's start to label some stuff in here because I need to find the length and I need to find the width. So I'll call this L and I'll call this W. All right, and by properties of rectangles, if this side is L, this is also an L, this is a W if this is a W. So I could label the entire thing if I wanted to. And perimeter means add up the distance around your rectangle. So if I go through here, this is I'll go this way, L, W, L, and W. So L plus W plus L plus W, or a more succinct way of saying that is I have two lengths plus two widths, and that will always be equal to my perimeter. All right, keeping in mind, I would like to find length and width. So if I wanna find length and width, if I have two variables, I'm gonna ultimately need two equations. Well, here's my first equation. I can see it. It's telling me two L plus two W is equal to 110. So I was told my perimeter was 110, so good, there's one of my equations. But again, if I'm being asked to find two variables, I need the other equation, and here it comes. It says the length is one centimeter more than twice the width. So let me just push off to the side here. We had four math operations, or I should say linear operations, that we had talked about. You have addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So let's see if we can figure this out. We know we have a length and an equal sign, but one centimeter more, that's referencing addition. Twice the width, that's referencing multiplication. All right, we're doubling something. So I know the length is one more than twice the width. All right, and now we get to that situation where like in example one, we have two equations and two unknowns. And so you can use substitution, elimination, matrices. You could graph these on a coordinate system and see where they intersected if you want. But I'm gonna use substitution. If the length is equal to one plus two W, I'm gonna sub that in right there. So instead of two L, let me start to write my work out. Instead of two L plus two W equal, equaling 110, I'm gonna say two times this version of L, one plus two W plus another two W is equal to 110. So again, instead of writing L, I'm gonna write what it's equal to. It's a binomial, so I'm gonna protect it with those parentheses, and now I'm gonna distribute. So I get two plus four W plus two W is equal to 110. 
Okay, and I've got a few like terms. I'm seeing 6w plus 2 will be equal to 110. I'm going to move over here just so I don't run out of room. Actually, I think I can subtract the 2 from both sides. All right, now I'm going to move over here. So we're going to get 6w equaling 108. I'm going to divide both sides by 6. And let's see what our calculator gives us. So I've got here, let me clear this out, 108 divided by 6, it looks like 18. All right, so I know W is equal to 18. Now I need some units on this. So this is going to be centimeters, that's the units of our problem. And again, just checking back, I'm not done with this question. Sometimes we get so excited because we get to an answer and then we stop before we actually answer the full question. This said give the dimensions, plural. So I have the width. Awesome, but I still need the length. So the length is right here, it's 1 plus 2w. So now I'm going to sub this back into the length equation. So my length will be equal to 1 plus 2 times 18. Well, 2 times 18 is 36, 36 plus 1 is 37, and my units are centimeters. So I'm going to scooch this up and write that answer out. All right, so I would say the dimensions of the rectangle are 18 centimeters by 37 centimeters. And if you hear that sound going off, that is my phone. Sorry about that. I meant to put that on mute before I started. Um, but that's what we got for example four. All right. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and hit pause for now, and then we're going to meet back up with uh, example five. I'll see you in a few. Bye.